El Matador is a game you've probably never heard of, which is a shame since it's one of the most intense and stylish shooters ever made. In El Matador, you play as Victor Corbett, a badass DEA agent with a subwoofer instead of vocal cords. It looks like you're gonna die. As he is tasked with taking down the Valadora drug cartel. The game is mostly a standard third person shooter, though the ability to go into slow motion is an appreciated addition. Because of this, it's been called a poor man's Max Payne. And while in some ways it is, due to its lesser story, it's still worth your time. The game's only glaring fault is its difficulty. Simply put, the game's normal mode is just utter punishment, though this problem is easily solved by going into the options menu and selecting the easy difficulty. On easy, the game actually becomes manageable, as instead of being killed instantly, you are given some room for air, which is important since health and armor aren't particularly plentiful to begin with. Otherwise, you are given an impressive variety of weapons to play with, ranging from pistols to shotguns to submachine guns, though most of the time you'll simply use rifles due to their versatility. There are quite a few enemies, and while they aren't geniuses, they do move around and are quite accurate if they can spot you. This is where the slow motion comes into play to help you. Shoot dodging is unlimited, but slowing time down manually isn't, so quick kills are a good idea, especially since every kill replenishes your ability a little. The game isn't particularly varied and the difficulty is fairly consistent, but given the generally high difficulty, that's actually a good thing. Unfortunately, just as you're getting used to it, the game just ends suddenly. This is a short game that will not take you more than 5 hours to beat, which is a shame because as long as it lasts, it's actually pretty fun. Also, do keep in mind that this game was released in 2006 by a small company and as such, the game doesn't really like modern computers. First of all, whenever you start the game, you'll need to start the task manager and set the program's affinity to all processors as the game defaults to using just one core, which results in stuttering and frame rate dips. Also, no matter what graphic settings you play with, the shadows will glitch. These issues aren't game breaking, but they're still a bit of a pain, especially since the game looks pretty damn good otherwise. Character models are a bit inconsistent, but otherwise, the lighting, environments, and general level of detail are quite good, and the game does run at a smooth 60 frames per second, if you don't forget to set the affinity, that is. The soundtrack is techno, and while it is good techno, it's not the kind that will change your mind about it. If you hate it, you'll hate the soundtrack, and if you don't, you'll enjoy it. Weapon sounds are also pretty good, though you'll rarely hear them since you'll be in slow-mo most of the time you're shooting. Last but not least, the voice acting is kinda bad and the dialogue is cliché, but given that this is more of a B-movie type experience, they're actually pretty well suited. And if nothing else, the cutscenes themselves are enjoyable thanks to some inspired camera work. And when you combine that with slow motion acrobatics, you get the recipe for a really stylish game. El Matador is stylish and entertaining, but also short, slightly glitchy, and narratively underwhelming. As long as you don't forget to set the difficulty to easy, this is a game that comes easily recommended to anyone who enjoys third-person shooters. Max Payne this is not, but it's pretty damn close.